Ukrainian HIMARS strikes the five Russian camps on Tsarilak Island, inflicting heavy losses. Ukrainian forces conducted HIMARS strikes on five Russian camps located on the Tsarilak Island in front of Skadovsk, according to Euromaidan Press media outlet. Apparently, the recent drone strike on Crimea revealed a weakness in Russian airspace, allowing Ukrainians to operate freely in the deep rear sky. It is noted that a Ukrainian reconnaissance drone operator flew along the southern shore of the Kherson region and identified a relatively large Russian base on the Zarilak Island. The operator discovered that Russian forces felt comfortable and relaxed in this distant base, more than 85 kilometers from the contact line on the opposite side of the Kherson region. Despite digging trenches along the shore, nobody expected a large-scale amphibious operation in this area, leading Russian soldiers to accumulate trucks and equipment in plain sight. However, their biggest mistake was assembling everyone outside every morning due to the base's distance from the front line. Ukrainian drone operators observed this pattern and marked precise areas where all five Russian detachments assembled in lines. Exploiting this information, Ukrainians waited until all Russian detachments were outside and eliminated them simultaneously. As a result, up to 200 Russian soldiers were lost, and Russian sources blamed their commanders for neglecting operational security. In another incident, Russian forces continued to lose troops and equipment by using large columns near the front line. Two weeks ago, Ukrainians spotted a Russian column near Ocheretovati, only 15 kilometers away from the hottest part of the front line. Ukrainians swiftly conducted a strike, completely destroying the entire column. Footage confirmed the extent of the damage, with seven trucks loaded with ammunition and possibly personnel lost. This lack of adjustment to the realities of war has caused repeated losses for Russian forces every two weeks. Some said that if 17 months of war and dozens of such cases did not teach Russians anything, then they are unlikely to adjust their practices in the future.